<sighs> so I just wanted to do medium because I'm sad. Always lose on hard. So I'm bad at the game. I used to be able to do them all on the original PS1 on hard. I don't know if the game got harder in the HD remix, whatever, or if I'm just getting worse at kart racing games because it's not really my <laughs> forte and what I spend my life doing, you know, so. Hmm. Hmm. So we're doing the Desert Cup. Oh, maybe this is hard, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure, like, these ones are hard anyway, but, like, even on medium. Hmm. I forget now. We shall find out. Okay, Crunch is being crazy. Bye bye, Crunch. Oh, Crunch got in the way and that achieved nothing. Yay! Yay! Trolley AI! Screwing me over! Not being affected by my shit, but uh, instantly sending me to sick for the moment they hit me. Mmm, maybe this is hard. Maybe they're just trolling me. Maybe I'm trolling myself. I'm really surprised that out of all of the um, characters, they decided, oh yeah, you know who needs their own track? Mega Mix. We're gonna make a track dedicated to Mega Mix. And you're like, really? Wasn't he only in like the GBA or something? I can't remember. I don't know if he showed up in anything else, I can't remember. I'm sure he made a cameo somewhere else, but like... Like, it's kind of freaky, to be honest. Like, I really don't like Mega Mix. Like, it's like, it gets into a bit of a weird, dark space where it's like, Ah oh, yes, we just fucking murdered Tiny Dingadile and uh, Dr. Cortex and mashed them together. And it's like, uh, and is it engines there as well? I can't remember. But I was just like, oh man, that's so dang, like, that's a horrible fate. That's like some Cronenberg shit. <coughs> wow, I'm only third. Ah, oh, I fucked up. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I actually hit someone with a bomb and it actually made me over behind and it's pointless. I'm pretty sure the trick for like higher difficulty levels is just forget about the boxes and shit and just go fast and don't worry about like doing that while doing this you know just focus on the task of driving fast because the AI is just gonna troll you and just one hit you to eight every time it feels like it, so you're just better off just driving. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still losing. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Too bad. Too bad. Speaking of too bad, uh, you might see a slight delay in my Ninja Gaiden LP at the moment because I managed to fuck up my finger while trying to fix something and basically I ended up stabbing myself in the finger joint on the pointing finger on my left hand is like got really badly like damaged from me just having an accident and fucking it up and it, you know that's kind of like where I would put the L1 button well, you know, if you imagine holding a controller, it's the finger that's going to be on the L1. 
And I can play a lot of games because a lot of games don't require rapid pressing of the L1 button, so I can always just move my in, you know, my middle finger across from L2 to L1. For like Assassin's Creed or like anything really fighting games, because a lot of fighting games don't really map anything to L1 very often. Uh, that's like hyper important that you can't do with another input, so unless it's like a tag team thing like MVC or like uh, Dragon Ball and stuff like that. So I could still play a lot of shit but like um you know Ninja Gun's block buttons L1 I'm pretty sure. And also moving around. As in like your evading you know your block and your evade button and I'm just like this game is not worth fucking my finger up over so I'm just gonna wait for it to heal. And then we'll finish that LP once my finger's fully healed over, because it's healed pretty quickly. Uh, it's pretty good now. It's had a few days to heal. It's doing well. It's not reopened, and I really don't want to reopen it <laughs> by doing anything stupid like going rock climbing or like, you know. I guess I can't even play this. This is an old recording, actually. Yeah, like, uh, I don't think I can even play this. Let me think. You have to press L1 for these boosts, don't you? Yeah, like no. I mean, I could move my other finger across because I don't look backwards very often, and L2 is like look backwards, I think. Or I could remap it. I don't know, but like this crash team racing, it's not <laughs> not the end of the world, really. As you can see, I'm not doing very well with this. I'm first here, so... Oh. Oh, shit. I'm sure these have faster triggers than they used to as well, so... Like in the original PS1 game, you could just, you know... You have quite a lot more time to shake it off your head. Now it's like, no, you need to mash. You need to mash hard. See, like... You see the difficulty difference and the balance between the new tracks and this Nitro Kart track here? Like, the Nitro Kart tracks are in general a lot easier even than the, the PS1 CTR tracks. Uh, the times are easier to get on time trial. The AI is kind of a lot dumber. Uh, it just kind of makes balancing it quite hard for these cups because it's like, oh yeah, I can probably beat this if it has enough Nitro Kart tracks. I just left that on my head. Oh, great. You know, so, um, saying that though, some of the Nitro Kart hard cups are actually pretty hard because uh, they sometimes go a bit nuts, the AI. I need to learn how to play properly and play, because I want to complete all of that. Hmm. Yeah, easy win, I think. Oh, I just let them all catch up so I don't like. Come on, Crunch. Come on, Crunch. There you go. See, you get like a lot more coins now. I just hit 120 coins for doing a race. So yeah, like it's it's getting better. The horrible business practices. <laughs> They're getting better. It's not something you can say about Active Blizzard at all, they're not getting better at all. But like in this instance, it's getting better because they've squeezed it, all of the money out. Like, <laughs> uh, It is getting to that point in some gaming things where it's like the best way to experience this game is to wait for the gold edition to come out and then wait another few months and then if it has any abusive microtransaction situation, by that point, they will have fixed it because they would go, ah, no, we're not going to make as much money now because the guys who are hardcore 
we've squeezed them, and now no one else is playing it. <laughs> like I got Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on uh, my PS4 really cheap, and it came with all the DLC, everything, and I'm just sat there like it cost me like 70 Hong Kong dollars or something stupidly cheap like that, like 80 Hong Kong dollars for the whole thing. And I was just sat there like, this is probably the best way to experience this game. Is like, by the time it's so old that it's basically irrelevant, but I re-bought it actually, uh, just because I never finished it on my PS3, and I thought, uh, I really want to just mess around and play as being a pirate and just see how crazy that game gets when you fully upgrade everything. So that's what I've been doing lately. Lately, it's been that. I always forget there's a little box under here right at the back there that's got the gearbox icon on it and you're supposed to catch all of them. Uh, one on each track. Yeah, like, I got Capcom Fighting Collection uh, recently. It's pretty fucking good. Oh, give me, give me the golden. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah, that will give me more coins. Yeah, I got the Capcom Fighting Collection, and like, when I was on the PS3, I didn't really play a lot of Darkstalkers. And that was, I nearly picked up Darkstalker's Resurrection, played the demo, and went, I don't like this. Straight up, like, I don't think this is for me. And then I bought the fighting collection, and now I have all the Darkstalkers there. And I started playing them again, and I was like, I don't know what me was on, old me was on about. This shit's hype. <laughs> and now I'm having really good fun. And like I played a bit of uh, Gem Fighter, and oh, what was the other one on there that I played a lot of? Oh, I played Red Earth all the way through as Kenji. That was pretty good. I'm gonna go back and check that shit out. But there's a lot of grinding to it, so it's not my favorite. But it's like it's got some cool characters, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I was having quite good fun on that. And then I bought the Capcom Belt Collection recently. Played Final Fight for a little bit. Beat Knights of the Round in like a single sitting. I was like, oh yeah, Knights of the Round. I'm gonna play this, see what this is about. And then just mashed my way through the game using God knows how many continues because it was my first time playing, right? And I was just like, I'm gonna beat this game. It's quite short, but it's pretty good. Some good beat em ups on there, and I bought the Sega Mega Drive collection. And that's got quite a lot of cool games on there too. I never had a Mega Drive, all my mates did, but one of my mates had Toejaminal 2, the one where you throw jars at people. And I was like, oh, they have Toejaminal on here, so I got that just basically to play Toejaminal. And, uh. Um, yeah, win again. See, that first track is bullshit, man. I'm miles ahead. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, they got Sonic Spinball, 3D Blast, 1 and 2, they got all sorts of shit. All three Streets of Rage, all three Golden Axes. Load of stuff on there. That was Decap Attack, which is pretty sick as well. Like, it's got some pretty sick stuff on that Mega Drive collection. It has Altered Beast as well. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, if you're into Mega Drive stuff, uh, it has yeah, it has quite a lot of cool shiz. Don't know what it was about the Mega Drive, but like a lot of the games that are like, oh, you're a cool guy and you're gonna go shoot people, you're a policeman, and they were really into that. And I was like, why is everything that I'm a policeman or a shinobi? That those are the two things you can be. Or an alien soldier. You can be an alien soldier or a person soldier fighting aliens. Or you can be a policeman. Like, so many of them revolve around you being a policeman, beating up bad guys or shooting bad guys. Like, e -Swat, and there was a few others like that. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Play Streets of Rage 1. I'm more a Streets of Rage 2 guy. Like, everyone I knew had Streets of Rage 2. I had it on the PS3. 
I think my friend bought me all of them on Steam, but I don't have a gaming PC like Streets of Rage 1, 2, 3. And this has them as well now, so I'm probably going to play them later. I've got so many beat-em-ups, and I'm actually really bad at beat-em-ups, but I really love playing them, so... Don't expect a full LP of those, because it's going to be embarrassing how bad I am at them. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. And I got... Get this. When it was on sale, it's cheaper and better value for you to get RE8 Gold Edition bundled with RE7 uh, Special Edition than it is for you to just buy RE8 Gold Edition on its own. Like, on the Hong Kong version of um, the PlayStation for some reason. Like, it's like about $600 for both RE's Special Editions. If you buy RE8 Special Edition, it's more money on its own than if you bond. <laughs> so yeah, I got those. I don't know if I'm gonna LP those either. But maybe, I don't know. I've kind of been putting off the uh, the whole uh, RE8 playthrough because I'm kind of scared of the giant baby. I'm not a fan of giant babies, or babies of any side really. Oh, look, that's kind of scary. <laughs> Fear of baby. I never really understood this. This is called Dingo Canyon, right? And in the original game, I was always like, what has this got to do with Dingo Dial? There's no Dingo Dial stuff anywhere. Here, they've kind of updated the set dressing, but it still doesn't have a lot of Dingo Dial theme, you know? It's just kind of stuff. It's just canyon. Don't get the dingo. Yeah, easy win. Hmm. I'm sure the next one will not be easy win, if I remember correctly. I'm just kind of recording these as I do them as well, because uh, I'm kind of grinding for coins still on this. I want a lot lab assistant, so I might as well just post my bullshit and explain what's why the channel is like doing what it is uh yeah. there we go i see the podium and then i'll just uh finish there so yeah expect ninja garden free to slow down but to be honest like every time i do a ninja garden playthrough like nobody fucking watches it they they do the worst out of everything like if I, I get more views just laughing at Biker Mice episodes, which is exceedingly low effort, than if I, or these, than people watching Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> so it's no great loss for the channel right now. It's more just for myself, you know. Yeah. I beat the Komodo Brothers. What a coincidence.